Alright guys, I'm going to be giving you a quick demo on the graham cracker model plate tectonics. There are two purposes for this lab. The first one is that you'll learn how earth tectonic plates, the lithosphere, ride atop the slow flowing asthenosphere layer underneath. The second objective is that you learn how these plates interact at their boundaries. Alright, for this lab you'll need a couple of supplies. You'll need wax paper, about one foot long. You will need icing. The icing will represent your asthenosphere. You will need a clean knife. I'll stick the icing for now. You will need one solid large graham cracker piece. You and your partner will share a single piece. And you will need a fruit roll up. You and your partner again can share a single fruit roll up. A beaker of water will be at your table already. Okay, so. Reading through the instructions, I'm going to go through this briefly. I do expect you to read the instructions as you go through the lab very carefully. This is just a demonstration. First part is the divergent. You're going to first cut your fruit roll up into two three inch pieces. So we've got about three inches here. You can either cut with the plastic on or off, it doesn't matter, as long as you take the plastic off later. There's one three inch piece and we've got another three inch piece. Do not eat anything until the entire lap is done. Set everything aside for later. Okay, we've got two three inch pieces. You're gonna get a large dab of icing. You're gonna spread it so it's about the size of a full graham cracker. All right, so I know. Don't be stingy, but don't use up the entire tub either. A large scooping on the knife should be more than enough. Okay. We've got a large amount of icing there. All right, you're going to place the two fruit roll-up pieces side by side. Remember what these guys represent. The fruit roll-up is your oceanic lithosphere crust, and the icing is the asthenosphere. As these two plates are diverging, that means they're going to come across. So we've got divergent, oceanic, oceanic. You're going to push down and apart. If you are successful, you should form a little mid-ocean ridge right there. As you can see, the land actually was made and it came up. Okay. All right, so that's part one. Peel these off. Save them for later. Again, do not eat anything. Do not lick anything. We don't want any germs. Respread your icing for part two. All right, part two, you're going to gently break your graham cracker and do the four separate pieces along the, the pre-established lines. All right, for part two, we are doing oceanic continental convergent. So you're gonna put your oceanic plate down, your continental plate down side by side, so the long sides together. You are going to converge them, that means they're pushing together. You will have to force this one a little bit because this is just a model. But what should happen is your oceanic, because it is less dense, will slide under your continental plate. And that's basically what you should have. You've got your continental over your oceanic plate. So take a picture of it, draw a sketch, insert it into your OneNote. Put those two pieces aside for later. All right, the third step is continental, continental. You are gonna use the one piece you've already used Continental, plus a new clean graham cracker piece. But before you put in the icing, you're going to make the end a little soggy. Uh, you're going to take your beaker of water, quickly dip it in, pull it out, check it off. Give it a second or two. It's already wet and it's starting to get a little soggy and squishy. Sorry, your ends, your graham cracker pieces should be end to end. And you're going to converge these together. All right, so they're gonna squish. And as you can see, it folded. If it had been dried, you would expect it to crack and snap. Instead, because it was wet, just like real land, it will fold and bend. All right, finally, the third and final plate transformation is the transformation boundaries. All right, take your remaining two clean graham character pieces. You're gonna put them edge to edge on the asthenosphere and pushing together, you're going to slide across. 
And you can't see it very well, but there's all these crumbly pieces. Imagine that was buildings or cities. Okay, so clean up your area just as you found it for your period and take pictures, leave your questions for later. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.